Jackson tonight. North Carolina hospital operators are being called on the carpet right now, accused of marking up prices and showing a lack of transparency. It is all detailed in a new report from the state treasurer's office. As Queen City News anchor Morgan Francis explains, the markups on everything from surgeries to blood tests. I think the contracts would prove that they're being compensated on profits, not patients. The report from North Carolina State Treasurer Dale Fulwell accuses hospitals of huge markups and extreme price variations for services. Fulwell says they're not transparent on pricing with patients. Three people can walk in to the same facility and get the exact same service or benefit or product and possibly charge, be charged three wildly different prices for it. Fulwell is a Republican candidate for governor in 2024. He's pushing for the full passage of his medical debt de-weaponization act, seeking to require large providers to post their price information. The report profiles a 1,120% markup from Medicare for a urinalysis test. It also lists a $290 cost to Medicare for an MRI of a leg joint. That's 10 times more expensive at another higher price facility. The treasurer says this happened as the state's hospitals sued roughly 7,500 patients over a five-year period to collect medical debts. Leaders of the North Carolina Healthcare Association are firing back, saying Fulwell's claims of the lack of transparency have been thoroughly debunked. They cite an article noting 70% of the state's hospitals met compliance regulations. Industry advocates take issue with the pricing comparison to Medicare, which they say only reimburses hospitals 84 cents on the dollar. The fact is, is that the North Carolina Hospital Association, their multi-million dollar lobbyists, are going to be on the wrong side of history in terms of doing what's in the best interest of our citizens. A rep stated the average hospital operating margin is 1.3 percent, emphasizing their commitment to serving patients. Morgan Francis, Queen City News.